And yet again, I'm playing support in League. But this time I'm playing Soraka, another support, who looks like a goat. She used to look more animalistic in past updates, but they made her look like a supermodel instead, so... Eh. On our jungler, we have Lee Sin. Boo! Our mid lane is Ari. ADC is Vayne. And our top lane is Rek'Sai. The enemy team, we have a Skarner jungle. He's using the battle cast skin. Normally, he looks like a big scorpion. Support Sona. Top lane, Olaf. And ADC, Ash. And mid lane is Talon. Vayne is uh, more... In, uh, for pursuit type of ADC and dueling and uh, chasing rather than kind of team fighting. Early game, she really, really sucks, and her goal is pretty much just to survive until she gets played of the Ruined King, and then she can get pentakills as much as she possibly wants. Ash is a weird one. Her passive is the longer she doesn't attack, she gets focus stacks. When she gets 100 focus stacks, her next attack critically hits. This sounds really good but it's not very useful at all. Most ADCs will build about 50% crit chance, so your first hit 50% of the time would have been a crit anyway, so it's not meaningful. She only has one damaging ability besides her ult, which is her volley, admittedly 1 to 180 ratio, but she doesn't have a clear path to build. You build attack damage, you only have one ability to use it, you build crit, you make your passive useless, so... She's one of the many in for a rework, but she's one of the, also the basic ADC, so there's not much they can really do with her without a lot of thought being put in. We start off traditional Krugs. Almost managed to steal it from him by pure accident. Oops. Go into lane. Soraka is the traditional healer. She used to be a lot worse than what she is, where she just heal and give man all day and you just couldn't kill either laner. She's been reworked that every time she heals, she loses 10% of her health and can no longer give mana. She's not played very often, which is fortunate for me because then most people don't know how she works because these two like to stand in Equinox and get killed. I am throwing out bananas as much as I possibly can. The star call I have here when I get my heal uh, skill up will actually heal me when I hit them. I'm probably being a bit too aggressive this early on. I've not really played Soraka very much, but I ended up going back early and probably not the best I've ever played. I do manage to keep Bane alive for a while, so... We're going in here. I was not expecting it, but I do have my healing now, so... As long as I can keep my star calls and heals up, I'll be good. Bane is almost dead here. We pop their heal. One of Ash's passives that she gets extra gold on the kill uh, for about two extra gold, so... The usual build is to get an Avarice Blade so you can immediately start racking up lots of gold, and she does that, and... Even though she does badly in lane, she still keeps up in gold. Skarner comes down here and wastes a lot of time. We're getting pushed in, unfortunately. I was just trying to body block for Vayne. I don't know if she was terrified that I would die, but since First Blood's already been given out, we don't need to worry about it. I'm just trying to poke as much as I can. Vayne isn't doing too bad on CS. She's only one behind. She, like many Vaynes, likes to blow her Condemn for weird things. I was just going back here because I'm just too whittled down. So Vayne will be getting some single lane experience for a while and out leveling them to a degree. All around the map we're pretty much not doing okay, but after a while we start doing much better down here. Vayne missing lots of CS. 13 to 16 now. Sona's also been reworked so she's a lot more poke heavy than she used to be. I'm kind of ambivalent about the changes. I haven't played Sona enough to really care, but I know a lot of people who used to main her are really unhappy about it. Vayne is almost level 4 here. Healing! And drop my Star Call on her and get half of my uh, HP cost back. 
Unfortunately, I stopped moving for a second and ended up throwing the banana and getting the siege minion there, but I think Vayne missed it anyway, so at least I got it. I'm just going up for more poke, and I thought that hit. I'm just trying to hit uh, Ash as much as I possibly can to annoy her. If it throws their see using off, I'm all for it. They're coming around, but I've already got a uh, ward up there, so I know what they're doing. She's trying to smash her in the side here, but missed completely. I was just... The only reason I dropped it early because I thought she was going in for me. Oh well. I was trying to get a good angle on them, but Vayne kept playing back constantly, probably because she thinks she has such a bad early game she can't risk any engagement. Unfortunately, we lose our ward here, but we do manage to poke uh, Sona a bit. Drop another Star Call right on Ash. I'm slowly whittling her down. As so long as I can hit her with a Star Call, even if she hits me, I win the trade. Doing reasonably well in CS. That is my Equinox. If you stand in it, you get uh, locked up when the effect ends, and I unfortunately stole it. I did not realize Vayne was around, so I was hitting her rather hard, and then she suddenly starts popping up and hitting her, and the banana's already in the air, I can't bring it back. I get the kill instead. I typed out sorry, so didn't want to make it think I did it on purpose. Run up here to Ward really quickly. I wanted to get back just in case Skarner came flying in, because if he grabs her, he should be six, but about uh, now as she gets into the tower, she will die. Got activity uh, running around all over the place. I don't think this is a good idea to push the tower. You want them to have it up, it gives them a false sense of security. Pegged her with another starfall. It's not really necessary to take the tower early, in fact, sometimes you want them to stick around so you can continue punishing them in the lane. Wave resets. I see Sona go up that way, so I decide to try and go on the ash as hard as I can. And the Rek'Sai, oh boy, isn't that a fun sound when you're not expecting it. Tried to nail her here, unfortunately she got out of the Equinox before it uh, triggered, otherwise that would have been a kill. Here I realize I'm dead, I'm just going to try and give... No, it was uh, not this, but another time where she was, I was being chased and was pretty much dead. So I ended up popping my flash. She did not really need to use her heal there. Neither of us would have died, so... That happens a few times where I heal them and they decide to recall, like, Thanks! That was a big chunk of my health I spent on you. Vayne, however, decides to stick around. Don't think it was a wise decision. She almost dies for it since her heal is down. We did pop her Ashes Flash, but... You don't kill her, so... Because I've been going back so much, I don't really have much from my, uh, my Sightstone yet. I have the Ruby Crystal for it, but that's it. And this is where she almost gets killed. If Ash was a little bit closer, one more auto-attack would have killed her. Don't stand up in the open when Ash is 6, because she'll hit you with your ult. I'm on my way back. That is Soraka's passive kicking in. When uh, you're moving towards an ally with less than 40% health, you could get a lot of movement speed. And for amusement, watch me try to CS as Soraka. Nope, that's right, Lee came in. A little late because Ash had already gone back, but... He's going to take gank techs even though he didn't do anything. Here's me attempting to CS. Miss. 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 I don't play a Soraka very much, so I don't really like her auto attacks. I'm not used to them at all. I ran over here because I saw there was a fight breaking out. We get Skarner. I try to get Talon. I do manage to silence him, so we get a... Uh, 
kill off on him without him managing to escape. So, an assist for me, yay. I had my wish, but I didn't really need to use it, fortunately. Ari's going back and is covered, so... Really don't need to blow it for, for no reason. Pop Ash again. The star calls are fun, especially when people don't seem to realize they're being targeted. We lose another ward. More bananas being served up. I suspected Sona was there and ended up clipping her, uh, getting her full on with the thing. More poke. And this is looking bad for us, so wish time. This is where I get killed. I end up pulling them this way. And guess what? You're between a wall and vein. Dead. So Ash killed me, unfortunately, but Vane got a double kill. So, somewhat worthwhile. As you can see, she's keeping up even with two deaths. And about the same CS. Skarner comes down again. I'm not sure why he bothered. Like, you're not going to be able to kill Vane. Especially not when she can get under a tower very easily. But he's down here covering for a fair bit of time, and that's a mistake on his part. Because as we can see him... Lovely noise, isn't that? Because we can see him, we don't have to fear him being anywhere else. Ari can be up this high because she's not, she's not going to get ganked. Rek'Sai can push really hard because he can't get up there that quickly to gank. And just from being poked, he's the, lost half of his health. Ash and Sona are on their way down, but... Neither of them have much. She's building towards Static Shiv, which I don't agree with, but on the other hand, it's not like she's got good build options. I silenced them, Snag Sona. They weren't really going to kill me, so I don't know why Vayne was going this hard, and that is uh, Skarner's ult. Had she not come in, like I would have been fine. Like There's not much they can do. She ends up popping her heel well, just to get out. Ash goes back to farming, we're all kind of resetting to our lanes, but Skarner decides to stay. This is a mistake on his part. Because he's not getting jungle experience, he's not clearing the jungle. I don't, tried to catch one of them in the Equinox, did not get any of them. There's one point they managed to stand right on it for the full duration, and I catch him with a Starfall. Skarner is still more or less sticking around and I wanted to ward Dragon just in case he was going to do anything, and I see that he is doing just that. I saw him walk away, and after a moment signaled, uh, be careful because Dragon did not return, which means he was still trying it. Lee comes in to do something. I don't think he immediately recognized that uh, Skarner was going after the Dragon, but now that it's reset, it doesn't really matter. He almost gets himself caught by not paying attention. And we're back down to here just farming and trying to get something done. Vane goes up, I'm not sure why, but... We do have a fight breaking out here, but it's very kind of sloppy. And Vane in almost gets a kill on it, but ends up just getting another assist. They went very hard for Talon, but they should have just backed off after this. Leah does call for Dragon, but ultimately just tries to screw around here some more. Vayne and I are just back to farming. Ash and Sona come up here to try and do something. Lee goes in and just commits suicide. So we lose our junglers. We only have our mid laner down here. Not worth it. We should have just gone straight to Dragon. But Ash being out of lane has also hurt her quite badly. She's level 8. Vayne is level 9, and her CS is falling off by about 15 now, which really quite hurts her. Rek'Sai over here has been having a bad time against Olaf, so Olaf steals the wolves, tries to steal some more jungle camps, and just kind of leaves after a while. 
we're pushed up again. Again, Vayne has a very bad early game. Once she gets her Blade of the Ruin King, then she can start doing Vayne things. Ash never really gets any better. I almost managed to catch Sona with the Equinox if we had. We'd have killed her, but... We pop everything for just Vayne's Flash, so... Not bad. Ash has a lot more utility than most ADC. She's got vision, she has hard CC on her ult, she has permanent slow on one of her attacks, so... She has less damage, but she does more than the average ADC, making it very difficult for her to build, so... She has no clear build path, and no real recommended items to get. I'm just left to defend while Vayne has finally achieved her Blade of the Ruined King 16 minutes in. And I get Equinox off drop, I Starfall on both of them, and Vayne and Ash eats two tower shots. I wish one of them had attacked me before then, but here comes Lee, Ash misses everything. And dead Sona. I try to get uh, the Ash as well, I don't think we get her. No, we do get her there, never mind. Dead Ash. And we get out of here again. Two kills, three deaths for our poor Ash. Two kills, two assists so for our Vayne. That is not something you want to see. Because if Vayne is starting to pull ahead even with her terrible early game, her late game is going to be even worse. She's got her Blade of the Ruined King, she's almost got her boots, well, the upgraded boots. Not a good sign. First tower is now taken. Vayne just wanted to stay and farm a little bit more, so... Eh. Vayne is level 10, Ash is level 8. And it just gets worse from there. Vayne has 5,000 gold, Ash is about the same. That's pretty much due to uh, her Hawkshot uh, passive and uh, the static uh, Avarice Blade, allowing her to keep up, even though she's doing pretty badly. Fight breaking out. Vayne gets grabbed and I go back to save her. We have uh, Rek'Sai coming in and a big fight breaking out. Managed to heal Lee. I think I blow Wish around here just to get everyone alive. But all five of our team down here versus three of theirs. Ash is out. But now it is time to do Dragon. I am such low health, I kind of want to stay away from the dragon, because it will one-shot me. Well, with five of us here, there's no chance for the enemy to take it or contest it. And Rek'Sai is on her way back to stop Olaf from pushing. I just go back because I have such little health, I'm just a free kill waiting to happen. Ash gets herself caught, and Lee just lets uh, Vayne take the kill. Three kills now. 58, 54, so she's 400 up. So Ash can keep up in gold even when she's doing badly, but there's nothing for her to really get when she has got money. Lee has vision of them doing blue, so we have a small fight break out here really quickly. Vayne is on her way up to fight. Eh. Vayne plasters Skarner right in the wall, doing lots of damage and starting to kite. Lee comes in from behind, dead Skarner, and a Sona that's also in a lot of trouble. I was on topside just to defend and uh, perhaps get a little CS, but did not manage to get very much. Vayne has another kill, 4-0-6. And the oh, Ash Arrow missing completely. And everyone just goes back from a successful team fight. Vayne has 1800 gold to spend. And Ash is starting to fall behind 600. We have yet another fight breaking out. I was trying to figure out where everyone is at. Did not manage to do a very good job of it, but keeping Lee alive. 
healing everyone up. So three on three. Throw out the Equinox, managed to catch uh, Skarner with it, so. I knew he was coming after me, I just didn't think he'd go this hard for it. I do manage to get my exhaust off on him, but we don't have much going on here. 4v2. Rek'Sai killing Olaf. Talon going back. Skarner like coming down here, but he never really got anything done. They're going to push the tower, but there's not much they can do. Two on three versus and a tower. Really, really risky. Especially with a vein with the Blade of the Ruined King when the active is up. Sona with the ult, and here comes Ari to start bad and clean up. I unfortunately don't have my ult, otherwise I've used it here. I wouldn't have really saved that many people, but I would have gotten assists for it. And they are out of there. Unfortunately, we lost Vayne in that team fight, but she got an extra kill out of it, so... She now has Phantom Dancer and Blade of the Ruined King. Ash has Static Shiv, Best Friend Sword. She's working towards Infinity Edge, so... She's trying to get something done, but... Little late. She's doing better than uh, Quinn did in last game, at least. <laughs> Why isn't that sound made of nightmares? But I'm CSing marginally better as Soraka. Yeah, I have two now. I think I missed this one as well. Yeah, I do. I missed the siege. Aw. Vayne coming back to lane. Olaf on their team is really the only one that's getting much done. He's the only one with a positive score. I'm here simply kiting the thing around so Vayne takes as little damage as possible. And we come up here to pick off Olaf. Well, unfortunately, we don't manage to make it in time, but a dead Olaf is a dead Olaf. I have my fully upgraded gold trinket, my sight stone, and I was going for, um, I think it was a Kales or an Ardent Sensor next. Normally I would go McHale's on a healer this strong, but I wanted it for the CC reduction on Sona's ult. I know I wanted an Ardent Sensor because, well, I have so much healing, it will pay off quite heavily. Don't even try to help uh, Vayne get the kill, I don't want to potentially steal it. And I can heal her up very quickly. And with Blade of the Ruined King, she's got lifesteal on it, so she doesn't really require too much in the way of sustain. But Ash does that a lot. She'll go to pursue a kill, run up here, and like, old Vayne is now going to smash you into a wall. I die for it, but... Sona dies. And Skarner's not getting out of here. Vayne is really good at chasing. Another double kill. 8 and 1 for Vayne. They're Ash, 2 and 6. These games were back to back, so I was feeling quite happy with myself. I'm getting better at supporting. I just need to learn not to be so aggressive at level 1. Mid is getting pushed up. With all the attention on mid, Vayne is free to push and farm. Ash is still keeping up with her, very fortunately, so she's not far behind in gold, but there's tension on mid. They're trying to keep this tower alive because it's the last thing before the inhibitor turret. They lose Ash, and Talon's about to be finished as well. Sona just gets there too late to do much of anything. Ari already has her two big AP items. It's going to get worse and worse. Vayne is over here, already taking the tower, because no one's going to stop her. I drop my vision ward here just in case we get invades. Another ward on the dragon. And I go up here to ward their blue, just so we know when it's up. These two come down here. I think they were trying to push, uh, try to cut out Vayne, but it was just what was going to happen. I use a talisman just to get out of there quicker. I have no idea why they try to do dragon here. If they know I'm in this area, they pretty much can suspect that I've got his ward on the place. And here comes Rek'Sai. 
Now because I've stuck a ward on their blue, we know what they're doing. And we take a free dragon. The second buff isn't as useful as the first, but we've got a nice little fight going on here. Talon wanders onto my equi Equinox and... Well, that was his problem. He couldn't throw any skills and then he snagged. That was effectively a two on three for most of that. As you can tell by the little bar here, the game is basically over. 37 kills to 12. They're almost 10,000 gold behind. And that is the game. So, I hope you found this little video entertaining or informative or eh, just not annoying. So, until next time, bye.